Tom Barnes of Pleasant Valley Farm in Custer, South Dakota. I was lucky enough to receive a Sarah grant to develop, see if I could develop a uh, a meat goat or goat meat market in in the Black Hills. We started the first year we had a feeding program and we fed them some grain and the other ones no grain. So then we had the, those uh, the carcasses evaluated and then we gave all that meat away. And so the second half of the, of the grants, we uh, would go around restaurants, individuals, and we had lots of surveys. I mean, we, we, we did a lot of surveys. And over time, we found that there is absolutely a meat market for a goat meat market in the Black Hills. Probably one of the best things we did, I came up with this idea to run these small ads in the regional paper. And we ran 50 of them and we just had little factoids. And five of them were about eating, five of them were about raising. And people would call and say, and we just had a telephone number and they'd say, what is this? <laughs> and it really got things going. I mean, it, and finally, uh, the editor of the Rapid City Journal called and said, my wife sees that in the, in the paper and she wants to know what is this? <laughs> so they did a great article on us, front page article in the journal. And then going out, we did a lot of fairs, we did a lot of expo kind of things and we met lots and lots of people. And that was probably the best part of it. I mean, we got to show people that goat meat was very, very good. Yeah, I, I was on a cooking show. I, I developed a recipe that that won a contest. And yeah, I mean, I mean, we really had fun with this. And we did, I mean, it really did a great job of what, I, what was the idea of the thing. So we, and we get people all the time that, you know, it, what does it taste like? Well, you better buy some and try it, huh? <laughs> so it's, it, it's been a successful thing. And I thank Sarah for all that they did for us. Okay, uh, three of the main uh, major things that we found that did not that we need to work on to continue the momentum of this is we need a little hardier goat, which I mentioned. We need processors that will keep the costs somewhat down, and we need big, more large producers because we have there's the demand out there of way more goats than I could ever. So my or on the, shouldn't say my, our intent is to get more people to, to, to do that. Uh, in, our, in, in our breeding program, we've gotten, now we have four breeds of goats and we will, uh, there's a, a geneticist at SDSU that is going to assist me, or uh, I will assist him actually. <laughs> I mean, he's going to show me how to go about this to, so that it turns into a truly repeatable breeding program. And there's other people that are doing the same, same kind of thing, so hopefully I can augment that and they can augment me. So life is, life is good on the goat farm. <laughs>